don't like, Vada Fly gonna recap this and say Gotti caught a 30 on the John Road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy, y'all the game. Time has Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire fly. We used to rapping like that. Oh, nice. Nice. You pay for a titties, I pay for the telly. We are not the same, remember that. My shooter got aim, it's out of this world. I'm talking some shit off a minute block. Yeah, 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 bring it in, bring it in, bring it in, take a seat, because we got to speak. Salute to the subscribers, that notification, gangrightsgangclothing.com for the merchandise, you heard me right. So, uh, easy to block captain, who has battle rap turned up right now. I'm going to get into all of that, how he essentially went from an undrafted battle rapper to probably the hottest new name in battle rap. Oh, you don't think I'll shoot you? You seen Avengers, right? Don't be surprised when the captain pick up that hammer, nigga. I wasn't. <laughs> that's I mean, if there is somebody hotter than him that's within a year or so of URL, you let me know. Now, Easy the Black Captain is not a new battle rapper. I jumped in my wheel and got there fast as shit. But that nigga made that right. Basically, what I'm saying, nigga, is I feel like Ace when he met Lulu. That Puerto Rican done changed my life. See, I can put this together. <laughs> Easy to block captain has battles on YouTube that are damn near seven years old. He already battled Swave. He already battled Bangs. He already battled New Jersey Twerk. He already battled mad people. But he basically snake eyes, uh, clean paper. Put on his neck, Easy. I said clean to talk different. I mean, the shot is too. See, I aim precisely. See, that's not a bar. It's just that I'm letting it ring like scam likely. See, we talk spicy. Yeah. I could keep going through about 10 or 15 easy to die. Matt, yo, names just keep flickering through. The reason why I did my homework, right? So, easy to block captain basically reinvented himself and became the hottest new name. Now this doesn't happen often and that's the reason why I'm even um, in front of this camera right now. So Chess dropped the Set the Tone record earlier today. Everybody heard the Set the Tone is making its waves and this is after Easy the Black Captain's top tier, right? So Easy the Black Captain basically responds to Chess and says he done fucked up. Like he done effed up. Like first of all, this is what I want to see next. Easy the Black Captain versus Chess. I feel like this is essential battle for both parties, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, and salute to everybody that's watching the blogs, you know what I'm saying? I got more than one a day, yeah, yeah, the gun is gonna spray, we drop more than one a day, but uh, check this out. So, Easy, and, and he has mad people supporting him right now. Even Lloyd Banks had tweeted that, uh, had wrote that Easy the Black Captain's his favorite new guy right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, people are, ver are vocally speaking out about Easy's come up, you know what I'm saying? Lloyd Banks said in specifically, Easy is no joke, definitely my favorite right now. Who wanna bet? When that's when, and then Easy, that was when Easy the Black Captain was battling against T Top. So let me take you back, right? He had a battle drop a year ago on URL's channel that was from a Survivor series. That battle was versus an MC named Swag Tanner, salute to him and everything that he's got going on too. But Easy the Black Captain was basically an afterthought. Norbs himself said that he didn't think Easy had it. And other people was just not feeling what Easy the Black Captain brought because he brought the gutter, the pain. Wasn't like a lot of flash as far as like, you know, the guys with the punchlines, the like, 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 the gun so big. It's like this and like that. I'm gripping the thing, the gun's so big, I gotta get it, the extra seat on the plane, stupid bars like that. He don't have, he didn't do that. But at the same time, he brought pain, he brought struggle, he brought gutter. And even going into the Ultimate Madness tournament, so, okay, he, uh, he battled against Swag Tan on Survivor Series, that battle drops on YouTube, one of the last joints that dropped on YouTube over a year ago. Now, what you gotta understand, when battles dropped on YouTube, for newer guys, it's cause they were kind of like, they weren't really, they weren't really fucking with you like that. Like if you see all the PGs that dropped and all of the Survivor Series joints that dropped, 
on YouTube and not the app, the YouTube was kind of like the purgatory. And I got word of this. Like we had had a conversation about YouTube drops. And it was like when they throw it out there on YouTube, they don't really care about the battle no more. So Easy the Bot Captain was damn near about to be an afterthought, right? He gets a good re reaction or reception from the Swag Tanner battle. People are like, yo, who is this dude? He sound like Chris Rock, but at the same time, he got bars, he brings struggle. So the Ultimate Madness comes along. Ultimate Madness, he's thrown in there as a wild card. I don't think anybody had easy to block Captain winning Ultimate Madness. And even though he didn't win Ultimate Madness, even on the app though, on the app drop, I think more people got him winning than Fonz, but that doesn't have nothing here or there. Fonz won a tournament, salute to him. Um, easy to block Captain, made the buzz though. He took Don Marino out. Don Marino was one of the favorites going in there. A lot of people had Don Marino winning Ultimate Madness, you know what I'm saying? He was making his buzz, he was getting his name up. Easy the Black Captain got him out of there. Then Easy the Black Captain battled Fonz and that was a close one. But what he did was he set a precedent and made a name. Now, it's like, let's see what he's gonna do. So they bring him back versus a Cortez. He smokes Cortez, like he wins all three rounds. Like. It was not a good showing by Cortez, but when you don't, if you're a veteran and you don't have a good showing and a rookie is wilding on you, it just makes it all the more better for that rookie. So he looked like he went from undrafted, not nobody thinking of him. This kind of like John Moran. Undrafted, nobody was looking out for him to springing onto the scene, having a phenomenal performance versus Cortez. Then they spin him back around versus Danny. He does great in the Danny battle. And now it's like, whoa. Who is this dude? Like, he, he's for real. Then he gets a chance to battle against a name name, T-Top. He gets T-Top. He shows and proves versus T-Top. Bullshit! 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 All around T-Top. Not only did he doesn't stop there. He didn't, he didn't stop there. He didn't stop there. And I think that we have to sometimes take time to watch and realize how someone's come up is, you know what I'm saying? Like this is a this is really like the come up for Easy the Black Captain. So he battles uh against um the the T Top, does great in that one, and now he instead of waiting, see the thing is the problem is, and this is also where I'm gonna say what he's done is he has removed a whole group of mid-tier artists. Like all these mid-tier guys that was around for like fucking years that, you know, I could name 20 of them. He is basically essentially, because URL is looking for superstars. Battle Rap is looking for superstars. Don't get it twisted. The other people, yeah, you can get in where you fit in. You can get on mid-tier cards. You can be around shit like that. But they are looking for stars. They're looking for New Jersey twerks. They're looking for uh, rum nitties. They're looking for Geechee Gottis. They're looking for people to build around. Like I said, all the other subsidiary names are fine and cool. You'll be around. You might even get a look every now and then. We'll throw you on a Survivor Series. But they are looking for stars. They're looking for people to fly to LA to put in front of caffeine to, to build around. And the reason why is because when you make a new star, you don't have to pay a new star as much as Hitman Hollow, as much as Goods, or as much as Murder Mook or any of these guys. Not in nobody's pockets, but you can build somebody from the ground up especially one who didn't have high expectations coming into it, it does easy to block Captain all the much better. But what he does, what he does that was even smarter, was not settle for the little bit of fame and, and acclaim that he was getting. What does this nigga do? He drops the top tier record. Drops top tier out the blue. Video first, drops a video for top tier. This, this shit got everybody responding. Everybody's coming outside. I'm talking about battle rappers, uh, now Jazz the Rapper, uh, it, I, who knows? Cass might jump on top tier next. Who the fuck knows? But got a reaction and got, and not only did it get battle rappers jumping, it got battle rap itself jumping. Mad blogs about it. Everybody's talking about it. Top tier does what it does. Um, Big T responds. Now Chess is outside responding. And the reason why I think that that should be both of their next battle is because Chess won't, Chess knows what easy to black cat. When, when a nigga got a buzz and a nigga got a stock going, the, the what, what? Motherfucker wanna park that shit quick. They want to park it quick. 
And the only way that you can park that is beat him. He has not lost yet. He said it in the interview. He ain't lost yet. Nobody ain't beat him yet on URL. Now, he did he take some losses outside of URL? Of course he did. But you got I think of it like this. If I'm watching college games and somebody lost in college or lost in the first round of Duke or lost in the Elite Eight, does that matter to me once that person makes it to the NBA? I, to me, it, I don't really hold a lot of weight in that. Just, okay, he might have lost to some people. That's cool, but what is he doing now? He, Kayshawn called him out. Chess called him out. And he's a solid investment because you know he's going to market. You know he's going to drop diss records. He has a YouTube channel. He goes on caffeine. This is the ingredients of a, a, a new star. I'm not saying he's a black captain going to be top tier, superstar, none of that other shit. I'm not saying it. He still has some things to work on. I feel like his cadence is dope, but I definitely feel like when them crowds come back, he's going to have to get quicker to the punch in some regards, but he has enough to where you can build around. When them crowds come back, that bullshit, bullshit, they're going to eat that up. He's, he's definitely good. Now, there's a, there's a lot of other rookies and shit like that too, but he's the black captain to me has now, if there were other guys that were neck and neck, top tier has put him above everyone, everyone. He's a black cat is the one that they're talking about right now. I don't know if you hear about him in, in the barbershops, in the streets, they're all talking about he's the black captain right now. And not to mention, he's on a card coming up in a two-on-two -two with Tay Rock versus Geechee Gotti and Swamp. The... If you are not measuring the steps and seeing how quick and how dope his come up has been, and it's not forced on us. There are MCs. We have seen niggas that they forced on us, and we be looking like, what the fuck is this? He's earned his burn. He's not forced on us. It's not an industry plant. They're not planting him here like, yo, y'all got to watch this motherfucker over and over and over and over again. No, he has had opportunities. He's taken advantage of those opportunities, and he's continued to continue to grow. Now... Like I said, this class has replaced the whole mid-tier, lower tiers that was there before. They're putting them on a double impact card. You don't see them calling names that were around two, three years ago. I don't want to start calling out people's names because fucking they get on Twitter and shit. Like, I ain't got time for all that. But we know who. You know what I'm saying? Like, we definitely know who ain't getting them calls. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. And we're just calling it from the perspective of... You, you, you get booked, you don't get booked. But what Easy the Black Captain does, it's making him book a bull. Like this motherfucker here, done, he didn't turn all the way up. And it's the reason why. Top tier, he dropped it on his own YouTube channel. Did 100,000. Dropped a remix. He's probably about 75,000. Doing numbers on his own. See, the problem is too many people are waiting for the machine. Like it's good to have a machine to carry you. But sometimes you got to make yourself hot. And that's the problem. A lot of these motherfuckers don't know how to promo, don't do videos, don't know how to get themselves out there. I talk to MCs all the time. These motherfuckers don't even have Twitters, don't have Instagram, don't have nothing. It's like, how do you expect to promote yourself if you don't have an essential tool of marketing, which is an Instagram or which is a Twitter or which is a YouTube channel? I don't give a fuck what you're throwing up there. Just anything to help continue to keep your name going and keep your name moving in the algorithm. You can't be serious. Like, you think that everybody's on Facebook? It's 2021. Do you really think all of the people that could watch you or generalized fan base is going to go to your Facebook, then add you? Motherfuckers don't want to be involved like that. Some people just want to go, click on YouTube, Ain't no interaction between you and that person. They can watch what they want to see. Boom, I'm out. Go to your Twitter, watch what they want to see, and be out. So hopefully Easy the Black Captain is a model and a lesson for a lot of up-and-coming MCs on what you need to do and how you need to get yourself hot. You know what I'm saying? Like, he ain't out here causing no trouble with people. He's just out here building his brand, building his success, and moving himself into a higher and higher position. I definitely want to see him versus Chess. Him versus Chess. It's essential because Chess made a whole diss track to him, a whole joint, like 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 the whole. And he got at some other people at the end. I'm mad that when I first did the video, he just got at it. I didn't have the whole thing, but I got the whole thing. I'm gonna play the rest of that joint too. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like.
Yo, check out Chess. Set the tone on YouTube. I'm just going to end it right here. Y'all niggas stay up. Chess versus Easy the Black Captain needs to happen. <sighs> You pay for a titties, I pay for the telly We are not the same, remember that My shooter got aim, it's out of this world I'm talking some shit off a minute block You should've stayed, now I'm on my way Little stupid bitch will be full attack And this to the face, keep your little ace The cost of my shit will not want a match Exotic ain't even a word Rolling some shit that'll never get named Today I woke up with a bitch who wasn't my bitch I'm taking that to the grave